Hello everyone, welcome to Affluent Lifestyle Budgeting. My name is Lo and today I'm going to be cash stuffing my envelopes for the first paycheck in March. I am stuffing $1,042 in these denominations. Let's go ahead and check to make sure that all of the, the money is there. So I have two hundred dollars. One, two, three, four. Another two hundred dollars. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, four. Four hundred dollars. That's eight hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one hundred fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 fives for $90 and then two ones. So it was actually finished earlier and I had planned to spend my Saturday morning recording videos and editing and then going out later on tonight, but that was flip-flopped and I met up with some people and I spent a few hours during the morning into the afternoon just walking up and down it, and it was so pretty and so busy. It's really nice to see so many people out and about and just really enjoying being outside. So I spent the majority of my morning doing that and I think it's like four o'clock right now. Oh, uh, 5.30, even later than I thought it was. But yeah, it was fun to be outside. So let's go ahead and cash stuff, cash stuff my envelopes for, uh, what? yeah, these are my cash envelopes. So let's go ahead and cash stuff, stuff my cash envelopes. I'll get it, I'll get it. So for groceries, we're doing $75. And then this is gonna go to my sister. Now I'll put that aside for now. And then we go to toiletries. And toiletries, do I have anything? Yes, I have $5 remaining. So I'm gonna take that out. Let's put this aside because I don't need it right now. So I'll take that out for later. And then toiletries is receiving $15, which is a 10 and a five. After toiletries is gas and gas, I decided to turn it into a sinking fund because I was carrying a lot of money in my wallet. So I think gas is in my personal folder. Either way, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Gifts and giving, I have no money left there. And we are stuffing that with $5. After gifts and giving is personal, and I've got some money left here. Let's see what we've got. Got a $10 bill. So we're going to save this for later. And then my $5 I'm gonna put here for later as well. And that was personal. And personal is receiving $25. Beauty has $5 remaining. So we'll put that aside for later. And Beauty gets a $20 bill. Clothing and shoes. I am holding on to this. But so, okay, I'm holding on to this because there's something that I want to purchase. But since I just have this one $5 bill, I'm just going to take that and put that aside for later. Everything else can stay in clothing and shoes. And then clothing and shoes is getting a 10 and another five. And then snacks, anything left in snacks? Nothing in snacks, which gets $20. 
And we are finished with the cash envelopes. $50 to my son, which I, yep, two 20s, oops, two 20s and a 10. So we'll put that aside for later. And I think that might be with the cash. So let's just see what's going on with the coins. I like to keep five of each coin and then everything else goes back into my coin jar. So I have five quarters, five dimes, one, two, three, four, five nickels, and I need two more pennies. And then this gets save for the end of the year. Now we can move on to cash stuffing for real, for real. We start with my son's binder and his savings account. We just switched him out with uh, another thousand dollar slip. He's going to be getting $25. He now has, where is, there we go. So he now has one, two, three, four thousand, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Four thousand, uh-oh, let's get that off. Four thousand forty-five dollars. His first car deposit of $15. He has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490, 495, 500, 505, 06, 07, 08, $1,508. Back to school is receiving a deposit of $10. Back to school has 100, 200, 250, 270, 280, 290, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. 296 dollars. And his Merrill, Merrill is getting stuff with 25 dollars and I do not keep track of the Merrill. We make a large deposit at the end of the year or half year, quarter, whatever I decide on doing. But we are done with my son's binder. And we're moving on to the savings binder. The emergency fund, that's gonna get $100. And I'm gonna take this out. I kept this in here because at one point I deposited some money and never counted the $19 that was already, I don't know if I had the cash and I deposited it and I never, like I don't, I don't really remember why this $19 is there, is, but I do know that the, the Lord, take a breath and slow down. I do know that the $19 is in the bank account, so it's there. I'm no longer going to be saying, oh, I remember $19, let me add it to whatever the total is. So that's gone. I think I put the 100, I sure did. Let's go ahead and count this out. We have 1,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 900, oh, and there goes the thousand. So this is ready for a thousand dollar slip. I'll be doing that in 
another, I think another week or two when I do my, my Seeking Fun. When am I switching this out? I don't know, because I'm not gonna be going to the bank this week. So probably, probably this weekend coming? I don't know. Anyway, this is another thousand. 1,020, 40, 55. There's 2,055. I remember when there was $47 in that account. Okay, then we go to Debt Snowball, which is receiving $20. And I'm hoping, <laughs> at least so far, that all this money I'm putting aside for my student loan, that eventually, you know, they they finally make a decision and say, hey, we're canceling X amount of dollars on the student loans. But I don't know, right now, first of all, Biden isn't fulfilling his campaign promise. He said that everybody should at least have $10,000 forgiven. And it seems like they're pushing hard to get everybody $15,000 forgiven and Biden is like, nope, I'm not doing that. But I mean, what happened to the $10,000? So one of those things I'm hoping will happen. And as soon as one or the other happens, I'll pay whatever is remaining. But it would be nice to have like a huge chunk gone. Okay, so I've already put the $10 that my vacation fund is receiving. The balance in here now is one, two, 300, 320, 333, 40, 350, 360, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. This is $382. And then home maintenance and emergency, that's getting $25. Oh, hold on, before we do that. Oh, let me go back into my let me go back into here. This is where I keep my receipts. It's just one of the extra cash folders that I made. And I use it to do my cash outs. I have the receipt for the 309, wait, no. Nope. That's not it. It's a different receipt. I thought I had the receipt for the $309. Hmm. Well, I must have taken it out and put it aside but I wanted to put the receipt for the $309 here so I know what I'm paying back. I'll do that off camera because now I'm not really sure where I put that receipt. Okay, but then I'll start paying back uh, the $309 here. Nothing for overspending, cover me. Okay, so I only have $10. I'm going to, if I have a $5 bill, I'll split it. Oh, cool. So I'm gonna put $5 here, and I'm gonna put the other $5 in my risk taker. And this is the money that I use for investing. This is the money that I use. If I ever spend too much in a cash envelope, I will pull from here to cover the additional money that I need. And then my $5 challenge. So all these $5 bills, they're gonna go in here. I do not track this, not until the end of the year. And then my 2022, 2022 challenge. Let's do this one right here. I know I did get for the 2022. I'm gonna be stuffing the 2022 envelope, but not the multiply your savings. So we'll take $42, put that in here, and we're done with this. I'm gonna see if I can shrink this so that it is the height and width of this binder and then just keep it right in front of this. That's gonna be a project that I do. Okay, 
and then I'm not doing the multiply your savings. I'm running out of weeks because I wanted to do this in 52 weeks, but, or 26 weeks that is. Uh, we'll see what happens. Remember I said at the beginning of the year, I do not want to overstress myself and make it make it like a, a chore to do these savings challenges. And right now I love that I'm giving myself kindness and grace to say, yes, I'll do this. No, I do this when I want to. Okay, and then we go to the $5,000 challenge. That's gonna receive $175, 100, 50, 75. None of my savings challenges are tracked until the end of the year. We're done with this, but not done with the savings challenge. I've got one more to go. And that is the 100 envelope challenge. Since today is the fifth, I went to the fifth envelope and I'm stuffing $60. And of course, I'm not going to be tracking the envelopes until the end of the year. So we can move on to the home binder. And we start with home maintenance. That's going to receive $25. So home maintenance now has 150, 70, 90, 200, five dollars. Car maintenance is also receiving $25. I ended up not taking my car into the shop because as I was driving home, I just became so ill. And not, I shouldn't say ill, I just started feeling uh, dizzy. Kind of like, you know, if you eat something bad, your stomach starts feeling funny and it might go to your head where you start feeling a little bit dizzy. So I think whatever I ate might've been too greasy or something like that, but it was just having a bad effect on how I was feeling. So I decided to push it to Monday. So Monday I'll be dropping off my vehicle and then on Tuesday I'll be picking it up and then I'll find out how much I have to pull from here. And I'm hoping that I have enough to cover it. In car maintenance, We've got one, two, three, four hundred, four fifty, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, five hundred, seventy dollars. Okay, home decor. I think my day ones will remember when I did not know how to pronounce this, or I couldn't decide. I didn't know if it was decor, decor or whatever else I thought it was. But this is getting $10 and it has 250, 60, 70, one. 271. Remember when these envelopes didn't have anything. If you're watching and you're considering a budgeting journey, cash envelope journey, anything, please go ahead and get started. Half of the people that you see on YouTube who have envelopes that just have cash in it or they have like these really nice setups, everybody started from somewhere. We, are, we all started from scratch. We all took that first step. So if you're watching purely for entertainment, cool. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and click that subscription button. You know you want to. You know I want you to. Do it. Right, for those of you who are watching because you're curious, you wanna get started, you wanna see how it works, what all the hype is about, I just wanna put it out there and encourage you to take the first steps. And I have a video, it's pretty old and it needs updating. This is when I first started. And look, if you compare the videos where I first started to the videos that I make now, you'll see that 
the the production has improved but we all start from somewhere so please if you are looking to take that journey to become fi financially free or you want to save anything like that go ahead and get started all you need is those envelopes like the letter envelopes that you can get at the post office a notebook and a pencil or a pen that is all you need okay enough for the pep talks and let me i look i'd be wrong if i didn't say if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for being here i love having you around utilities has one two three four five hundred twenty forty fifty five five fifty five oh five 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 angel number pool and hot tub that's going to be getting fifteen dollars ten and another five pool and hot tub has three hundred ten fifteen twenty three twenty Oh my goodness, please do me a favor. If you are considering, and if you think I'm playing around, like I'm not being 100%, I promise you, go back and look at my old videos, my very first video. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But the fact of the matter is that I was, I was doing it. That's all that matters, that you take that first step. Entertainment and Family Fun has 100. It is getting a $20 bill. It is going to be losing half that hundred because I did spend money on food. We're gonna be taking care of that when I do my cash out next week. We are done with, what folder is this? The home folder. All right, moving on to my personal binder. Ah, gas is getting so expensive. Y'all, I was driving around, uh, around town today. Remember I said I went out earlier and I need gas. My gas is, it's empty. The tank is empty. I have that little notification that pops up that says low fuel. So it's time for me to get gas. But I'm driving around looking at these places and I don't stop for any of them because the gas is greater than four dollars does anybody remember when gas used to be 98 cents 99 cents for regular does anybody remember if you remember it ever being that cheap please put it down in the in the comment section below and what state were you in when it was uh if, if it was below a dollar, a dollar or less. In New Jersey, I clearly remember 98 cents and 99 cents per gallon for regular gas. And now it's upwards of, I think it was like 414 or 440. It's getting crazy. And you know it's reacting to what's going on in Ukraine with, with Russia just, whoo. Russia is just, mm, I don't even know what to say. But Russia is also one of the top producers of oil. And now the, the, the price per, what is it called? Um, what do they put the oil in? I can't remember. Uh, barrel? The price per barrel must be skyrocketing because now gas is more than $4. If I ever see gas $6 a month, $6 a month, I wish gas was $6 a month. I would subscribe. I would definitely subscribe for $6 a month. But if I see gas ever to be $6 per gallon, whew, I don't know. Anywho, gas, gas was receiving $60. Okay, I put that in there and we are in, what folder is this? This is, this is my personal folder. Okay, gas is getting $60. So I have 150, 60, $170. And I might have to increase my contribution to my gas envelope because filling up my tank is probably gonna be $70, $80 now. Oh, it's crazy out there, y'all. Okay, Merrill gets $25. What am I doing? This way, low. This way. Okay, and then we go to 
eat. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, 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 I know what happened. So, this is, let's just put gas right here. And gas had 110. Nope, hold on. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I contributed $60 and then I had a $170 balance. Okay, cool. And now we go to Easy Pass, which is getting $5. Let's just make sure I'm not at my cap. Uh, this is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, five. We are at the cap. And I haven't been traveling out of state as much, so they haven't hit my account. We're good. And I think I said we're at the cap. So there's $105 there. Teacher stuff is receiving $5 as well. Teacher stuff has 20, 30, 35, 40, $42. Same as my 2022 savings challenge from Taylor Budgets. Go check her out. I love that savings challenge. Masters plus 30, that is a $10 bill. Masters has one, two, 350, 60, 70. And I've gotta hurry up and finish the three classes. You only have a year, because I do everything online, so I decided to take three classes, but the classes are only open for a year. And I am falling behind. I have got to hurry up and finish those classes before, I don't know what they do if they just, just disappear it. Okay, so my I Love New York, I pulled it out to count it, but then I realized that I don't track I Love New York, that folder. I just deposit it. I think we're gonna be depositing this at the end of the year. We go to Lux Life. That one I do track and it's getting $15. It has 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, $69. And then we go to Pet Care. When I do my cash out, I'm gonna be pulling from Pet Care. Whew, long story about Pet Care. It's not that long. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I set an appointment for a specific something and my sister said that she would take the cats to get groomed to get groomed I set an appointment to get groomed but specific grooming and I did not get what I wanted so instead of spending like I think it might have been 60 or 70 dollars I ended up paying $150 I'll say more about that when I do my cash unstuffing next weekend 350, 70, 80. This has 380. I'm not mad. I'm a little bit disappointed. It's my first time going there. I wish they did what I asked, but when I came home, the cats looked so beautiful and soft and they smelled good. So I kind of, I kind of just let it go. All right. The health and, no, vitamins and supplements, that's gonna get $30, 20, 30. This one has one, two, three, four, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600, five dollars. I think I might want to start using $500 slips. But on my $500 slips, I want to do some other famous faces because right now it's just all of the the prior president. Well, he wasn't a president. So most of it, is this Alexander Hamilton? Yeah, that's Alexander Hamilton. So he wasn't a president either. But you know, all of these historical figures, I want to see some black historical figures on here. And I think it's um, Jenny from Pink X Budgets. She has... I know she has Obama on her $1,000 slip and I wanna say like Sojourner Truth or Harriet Tubman, like one of those and I think that's dope. So 
I want to do that as well. Maybe I'll just support and buy her $1,000 slips. But for my $500 slips, I'm going to go ahead and do something for myself and get some different faces on the slip holders. All right, so for dining out, that's going to be getting $15. Ten and a five, one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty one, one hundred fifty one. 151. I love that this is building up again. I'm so excited because it's so much fun going out with my family and not having to worry about spending money that I that I don't have that I do have but hasn't been earmarked for that so I'm gonna see if I can convince them to do like um, an escape room I did how many escape rooms have I done I did oh, I'm gonna say one and oh my goodness I've only done one escape room definitely gonna see if I can get them to do an escape room this is 20 40 50 60 75 dollars for Etsy and the cap is 100 and the cash tray is empty you know how much i love that because i never never want to have to go like sleuthing turn into sherlock holmes what happened how come this is still there what did i mess up anyway always fun like i really enjoy cash stuffing i don't know why it brings me joy it's it's a hobby it's being responsible but i have fun doing it like just setting up and having my envelopes and the cash tray and all of this i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and add this up off camera you all will get an update for my total balance when i do my sinking funds update but right now I'll save that for later and I will dedicate this time to saying thank you. Thank you for clicking my video. Thank you for spending a little time with me. And thank you for holding me accountable. I appreciate and I love having you here. Uh, this is Affluent Life, giving you a friendly reminder to live life affluently. Bye.